What's up, Obscure Mike people? It's Bark, and I'm back. Why am I holding the mic? Because these tiny short desk stands don't really do much. But I guess they do something. There we go. We could lean it back on our desk. Anyways, here with the Tackstar GX1. The Tackstar GX1 USB microphone. This thing was sent to me by Tackstar. You can grab it on Amazon. Link below. Price printed. All that good stuff. But this is a USB condenser microphone. Let's take a look at everything that this microphone is and does. All right, we have the box here. Nice looking box, shiny quality. If it's not just a cardboard box, usually it's pretty good. We're doing the uh, voiceover here on a Zoom ZDM1, the USB microphone from Zoom that's uh, got a review of its own coming up real soon. But when you open the box, you get the Tackstar microphone in a plastic shell. Got some documentation. And under the plastic shell, we've got a microphone. Microphone build quality is decent. It's metal. It's a thin metal, but it is metal. Got a volume knob right here. No woggle, woggle, no wobble, no woggle wobble, no wiggle. And the stand comes right off to reveal a 3 8 threading and a 3 8 stand. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. On the bottom, we've got a USB-C port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And it does provide latency-free monitoring. Yes. Yes, it does. Closer look here at the Tackstar. Showed you the knob. But on the back, the SQ on and off, that's squelching. Their version of a noise gate. But I also wanted you to see the logos here. You can plug it into a phone or tablet. And it's got the logo, so we're going to do the phone. We also have a capacitive mute switch on top. No clicky clacky noise, capacitive mute, always a good thing. Since it does clearly have an option to go into a computer or a phone, we're gonna use this right on my phone, my TCL 20 Pro 5G. Yeah. So we've got it plugged into that. It does have latency free monitoring. That's a massive plus because there's no excuse not to have it these days. No excuse at all. And Tackstar doesn't have to make an excuse because they got it. The headphone volume is barely up, I would say about 12 to 15%, if that, maybe a little more. No, probably 12 to 15%. As you can see, the microphone is changing colors as I talk into it. And as you can hear, it's got a small electric capsule in it, but most of them do. Most of these microphones do. Let's first touch the uh, mute button, the capacitive mute button on top real quick, and I'm going to keep talking while I... Now we're back on. Lights go off, obviously. That's what I was lipping. Lights off. Mm. And this microphone is, uh, is just constantly changing colors. No way to change it. Otherwise, it just does it on its own. Now let's do the test that we all know and love. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. When you get right on top of the Tackstar GX1, this is what it sounds like when you're directly on top of the Tackstar GX1. Proximity effect sounds solid. Better than being a few inches off of it. If you want to get real close to this mic, it's going to sound a good bit better. That's not bad. Let's do some off-axis rejection. Talking into the front of the microphone, now we're going to go 90 degrees on the mic, 180 degrees on the mic, 90 degrees again, and then slowly back around in the opposite direction to the front of the microphone. That's the off-axis rejection. There's a button on the back, as you saw, that says SQ. They call it squelching. Sounds interesting. Squelching. But what it is, essentially, is a noise gate. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that here in just a second, but I'm going to be quiet first so you can hear the background noise. And I'll make some noise while I do it. I'm enabling now. <coughs> mm. 
My child coughed downstairs. I don't know if that came through or not, but I heard it. A car just went by, and it was loud. I don't know if you heard that or not. I don't think I heard it in my headphones, but this is squelching. This is what squelching sounds like. Turn squelching off, and this is what it sounds like. Does it sound better with that on? Does it sound better with that on? Does it sound better with that on? Now we're back. I'm going to do a little desk test and uh, actually type on the keyboard while I do that. So the microphone is now on the desk. I'm also going to turn it up, 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 up. That way you've got what it sounds like if you were to use this with its uh, stand. So again, mic's on the desk, desk stand, volume up. I'll keep going up. Does this sound good? Is this what you want? Mic out of the shot and this sound? It's up to you. Maxed out on the volume. Is this what you want? Mic on the desk, maxed out? Or do you want to turn that down? Back to that 12 to 15% range and get this. I will say, I do like these built-in noise gates. I'm gonna put this closer to my mouth actually. I like the built-in noise gates and I think that if you use mic technique and you put this on a boom arm and get this close to your mouth, Honestly, even though it's 50 bucks is probably, um, one of the more decent USB mics that are RGB that have the same features. Latency free monitoring is pretty solid. It's not like overly echoey or anything like that. And it doesn't sound just crappy. It sounds of decent quality. So the headphone preamp in it is solid, pretty decent. Yeah. And when you're up on top of it, the sound quality you can get out of it is going to do for streamers and gamers. Professional use, not so much. But Tackstar said they want to send some more stuff over. So let's see if we can get some professional mics to use as well. And if they have any other USB mics, we'll check those out for gamers and streamers. But let's just go with USB mics, RGB, gamers, streamers. So do I recommend it for them? Yeah, I think I do. I think it's good enough. Hey, while I'm at it, the BBSAR. The Bronson and Bark scale of audio something. I'm going to give the Tackstar GX1 a 6. Yeah, it gets a 6. I think it's above average and it's worth the cost. Doing it on the ZM2 because I boxed the GX1 up. But on the BB Soar, this is a 6. The Tackstar GX1, a little above average. Worth buying. That being said, you're going to have to pick your flavor amongst the others that are in the same arena as this microphone. But this is good latency-free monitoring, pretty good headphone out, and the squelching, well, the squelching works pretty well. I'll squelch with you next time. Tackstar GX1 is out of here. Barks out of here. Obscure mics. Peace out.